kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back to my another video on Android app development. So, guys, this will be the part six, and now let's start working on our login activity now. So, first of all, we have to bind the views. So, uh, the first uh, here, what we are going to do is we are going to use bind view. So, here are dot id dot ed email, and we have the text input edit text ed email. And then we have bind view ed password text input edit text and then we are going to use the firebase auth for the authentication and here first of all we use the butter knife dot bind and we use this okay and for the authentication we can uh, initialize our, our, our firebase uh, out so here we can say firebase auth get instance so after this we are going to use some uh, set on click listener for some buttons so first of all we write the code for this back button so here we have uh, on click r dot id dot back or what was the uh, name of this let me see in our login and here we have it and let's set the id is to be go back so we just write go back and public void button click go back and here we just write finish and then again we have the on click r dot id dot login button so here now when the user will click on this button so we are going to okay so it is showing us some um, error okay so here we are going to use our function so let me write public void button click login and inside this function we are going to write the code for the login of the user so we only have these two uh, things so another thing which i have to do is we have to use the progress bar so we here after this linear layout we are going to use progress bar and it will be a role like match parent wrap content we set the id is to be progress bar login and center in parent to true and i think our its height should also be wrap content and set uh, in determinant determine in determinate and it will be true all right and initially we have to uh, set it to set its visibility to invisible so it won't be shown to the user so here we also have it as behind view or dot id dot progress bar login progress bar and then here inside our uh, button click event what we are going to do first of all let's just have those things like the user uh, inputted the email and the password so we can say string text email email equal to ed email dot get text dot to string then we have the text password equal to ed password dot get text dot to string i think to string is uh, i think that it is okay so everything is fine so now we have the um, uh, the edit text i mean the text and uh, email so here we can have some checks so we can check if text utils dot is empty and if the text email is empty or text utils dot is empty and if the password is empty 
or okay so if it is empty so we can print a toast message like uh, email and password cannot be empty all right and then we simply say return and here then we can check if the text password dot length is greater than less than six then we can say uh, password length should be six characters or long all right and then we can also use the return statement so after uh, these two uh, or for these two conditions are false so now we can write the code inside our this so here we can say login user and here we can pass on the text email and the text password okay so now we can create a separate function private void login user and here we have string email and string password so here we can say like okay so now we can first of all progress part dot set visibility view dot visible first of all and then we can say auth dot sign in with email and password so first of all we will write email then password and add on complete listener new on complete listener and here inside this we can check if task is successful then it means that the user is successfully uh, logged in so if the user is successfully logged in so now we only have to uh, open the home screen activity so for this we can say progress part dot set visibility view dot gone first of all then the next thing is we can say intent intent equal to new intent and suppose we are using the login activity dot this and the next activity which we are we are going to use is home screen activity dot class and we can use some flags because we want to remove all the previous activities or screens so we can say add flags here will be intent dot flag activity clear task and we can say intent dot flag activity new task and so finally we are going to use this start activity and here we are going to pass intent and we are going to finish all the previous activities so if the task is not successful then we can print a message like login activity dot class sorry dot this incorrect email password all right and we can say progress part dot set visibility view dot cone so that's how we are where we have done and here we are going to create our uh, home screen activity as well so we go to new and we click on activity empty activity and here it will be home screen activity So now the activity has been created and our login part of our code is now complete. So here let me just rewind you for what we have done in this video. In this video we just uh, wrote the code for the login activity and we just created all, the, all, all that code. And now in our next part of the video we are going to start working on our register activity as well here. 
all right guys so i hope that you have learned something and you are following me step by step so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye